QuickBase just released the new plugin portal and with it, a Gantt chart tool that's going to blow your mind. Welcome to QuickBase Junkie. I help QuickBase builders learn fast to deliver more. The new Gantt plugin from QuickBase is amazing, but there are three steps we need to take before we can start using them. The first will be to get a specific app from the App Exchange. And then we need to enable the permissions to use plugins. And last, we need to install the Gantt plugin itself. Before I do all of this, I want to tell you I decided to use a builder account. A builder account is a free QuickBase account that gives you access to so many of the things that you may not have access to in your normal account. So that way you can use them, you can play with them, you can break them with little harm before implementing them in your production app. Check out the text below for more information on a builder account, as well as the detailed steps. All right, let's get started. Here on the My Apps page, I can access the exchange. Typically only the higher level accounts like enterprise and business will have access to Gantt charts, but the builder account has it as well. So you can play with all these tools and features. So I'll go ahead and open the exchange and I'll search for Gantt. And we can see the new QuickBase Gantt template app. And you can go ahead and just click on get this app. I have already done this, so I don't need to do it again. I'll head back to my apps. Now that we have the QuickBase Gantt app, we could open it, but there's one more step we need to do. Within the management of the account, now you may or may not be the manager, here in the builder account, I am of course my own manager, so I will manage my account. And over in the permissions, we'll need to make sure to set the plugins to all users can install and edit plugins. Right now, the only option is all or none. Hopefully they'll be able to modify this to specific users in the future. With that set and our app downloaded from the App Exchange, we'll jump into that QuickBase Gantt template app and we'll head into the settings. Now in the settings, if we scroll down on the right-hand side, we'll see a new option for plugins. We'll click on the plugins, give it a moment to process, and we'll see the Gantt chart plugin. Quick note here, when I first came to this spot, I was told I did not have access. Just give it a couple of minutes, come back, refresh, and you should be able to see this install plugin. So we'll go ahead and do that next. We'll install this beta version of the Gantt chart plugin. Let's give it a quick name. Now it's mentioning here the installation requirements for this plugin. Essentially what it needs is what's in this app from the app exchange. There's a lot of specific fields and tables that are required in order to use this plugin and they must be present in your app. So I'm confirming here that yes, indeed, they are all present. I'm assuming so because this is the app they told me to download from the exchange. For this setup, I'm going to have to go through a number of steps in order to ensure that it's connecting to all the right pieces and parts for the plugin itself. It's recognizing these, so that's wonderful. We've got the projects table. We'll have our tasks. I'm just searching based on the name it's giving me because these were a uh, part of that template. It's making it really simple. But I assume you can add this to an existing app. And you're just going to have to put in a lot of work to make sure that you've got all the right pieces and parts and everything is set up to align within that application to the tool itself. Go ahead and save now that we've got all of those selected. The Gantt plugin is now installed and we have two options. We can return to the settings, which is where we just were mapping all those tables together, or we can open the button that it's created for us to launch. This will actually open the button formula we don't need to do that. So what we will do instead is go ahead and return to our application. So let's find that launch button on our projects table. 
get into the projects table. I'm going to open one of these projects. Again, this is a template, so it's pre-populated with a little bit of data, which is helpful in me visualizing how this tool is going to work. Head over to the admin section and down here at the bottom, we can now launch the Gantt chart plugin using that link. Ooh. This is looking fancy. We've got a beautiful Gantt chart here all set up for us. And based on some demos I've seen, I believe you can push things out, rearrange them using the visual here. Pretty slick. I uh, think, let's see, can we edit any of these directly? Yes. Change some of this information. Very, very cool. We can see a lot of what's happening right here on the Gantt itself. Going to have to play with this a bit, but um, pretty slick. That is how to set up and preview the new Gantt chart plugin from QuickBase. Uh, a lot to still figure out and play with with this new tool, but I look forward to sharing more with you about it in the future. If you liked this video, there's a whole lot more going on over at quickbasejunkie.com slash training. And when you're ready, I'll see you in the first lesson. If you found this video helpful, let me know. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Bye for now.